don't know where he went. Look, we got Laura settled, and she went right to sleep. And then Leo said he wanted to go out and get some air, but he never came home. I know because I was up all night checking up on Laura. I'm glad you called me. So what do you want to do? You want to call the hospital? You want to call the police? Well, he's not driving. His car's outside. Well, maybe if he was on foot, he could... No, no. Maybe you don't think he... Look, look, I know he's fine. He's fine. He's got to be fine, because when I get him, I'm going to kill him. Look, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. Yes, you do. Why would Leo leave Laura the first night that she's home from the hospital? Morning. Come on. Where's Leo? Couldn't wake you with coffee. Back in a Jeff. Love Green. Love Greenlee. Sweetheart, how are you? Did you sleep well? Yeah, really good. So, either you guys seen Leo? He, he went, went out, out for, for coffee. Run. What? He ran out for coffee. Oh, such a caffeine hound. Wow, I still get so tired so fast. Oh, honey. Oh, well, that's perfectly normal. Listen, you just take a seat over there, and I'm going to take your pressure and your pulse tonight. Oh, Leo, what, what happened? Leo? Yeah. Did you get the coffee? Coffee? <laughs> Leo, you, you got the mind of a gnat there, brother. You know, you said you was going out for some coffee. Mm. Right, I did. But it was too early. I, I couldn't sleep, so I, I went for a walk, and I was, I was going to get some coffee. Thank you for the ride. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to go shower and change my clothes, OK? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait a sec. Um, look, I... I know it's really hard for you to be around me right now. I understand. I, I just don't want it to be so awkward. Listen, Laura, I'm... I'm you know, I'm glad you're okay. This, uh... This doesn't have anything to do with you having Jillian's heart. I know. It, it has to do with Jillian dying. Look, I lost my mom. I know what it's like to lose someone you love. Ryan, you're not alone. Just don't ask me to turn to you, okay? Don't ask me for anything, because I, uh, I don't really have it in me right now. Asking that yourself. Hold on. You were yelling? Yes, I said your phone was ringing. It's Greenlee. She wants to know where you went and if you're okay because she was worried. Greenlee, I'm fine. Just leave me alone. Okay, okay, it's not what you think. And why are you answering my phone? <sighs> Damn it, Leo, you were out all night. So don't you turn this around on me. Okay, 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 just let me explain what happened. I went out for a walk. I ran across Ryan in the park. He was in a bad way, and he had a bottle of scotch. Oh, God. One drink turned into two, two turned into three, and then... <sighs> I don't know, I passed out. Leo, I know that you care about Ryan, and I do too. But you left your wife alone the first night that she came home from the hospital and went out and got falling down drunk. I, I know. I'm not proud of that. 
And I never expected to run into Greenlee. She, she found me in the park, and that's why she's worried about me. Well, I am too. Okay, what is that supposed to mean? Because things have changed, Leo, since we got married. Laura has a new heart, and she has a chance to live. Yeah, and nobody's happier about that than I am. Really? Well, you were great with her when you thought that she wasn't going to make it. But she's getting healthy, Leo. And I think that you're panicked. No, I'm not panicked. Yeah, what? I think you're terrified because you have a wife who's going to live. And if that's how you feel, Leo, then you should get out now. Now's your chance, Leo. Speak up. Wait a second, wait a second. Okay, I made a mistake. You're blowing this way out of proportion. Look, I know I expected a lot from you originally. And I owe you everything. Because you kept Laura's spirits up. You kept her alive. Oh, hold it. Brooke. I'm the one who asked Laura to marry me, remember? I signed on to this marriage myself. Yes, but the circumstances have changed. Now you are married to a woman that you don't love. I love Laura. Yes, but you're not in love with her. I married Laura to give her hope. Something to cling to. Worst case scenario, some, some happiness before she died. But she didn't die. She's alive, and I thank God for that. I don't doubt that, Leo. And does her current health condition scare the hell out of me? Absolutely. I'd be lying to you if I said otherwise. There's a lot on my plate, Brooke. Come on. And, and I'm, I'm still willing to try and handle it. I had a minor freak out last night, but I'm okay now. I really am. Leo, I know that you've taken on a lot. And if you wanted to bail, I could not hold that against you. Just, if you don't think that you can be faithful to her, please don't hang around trying, okay? It would be better if you just got her out of her life for good. You can both trust me. I hope so. I covered for you this morning, but it will be the last time. Okay. Right. Ooh, so serious. What's going on now? Well, I was just convincing your mother that Zora and I are going to take very good care of you. I got it under control, bro. I'll be fine, Mom. So what are you still doing here? I thought you left, man. Yeah, I, I, I must have misplaced my keys. I seem to be uh, losing a lot of things lately. Let's find them. Your keys? Maybe. You know, what's over here? Somehow, love translates through everything. You see, Stuart was my heart, and now he's Marion's. So that's how we speak, heart to heart. Listen to me, Laura. I need to speak with you through my heart. I'm sure we'll get Jillian back on track, huh? We just have to have faith. You know what I have right now? I have Ajita. Ajita. Listen to me, Laura. Listen to your heart. I guess I must have fallen out of my pocket or something. But I don't you know. Lose your keys. You've been here for three minutes. I don't idiots. know. I don't know. I was standing over there and then I went outside. Uh, did you check under the ottoman? No. You have to hear me. You have to get Ryan's attention. Mom, what's that by your foot? Hmm? Oh. Keys. Thank you. I have to check on some things for Tempo. It's nice to see you, Ryan. Take care. All right. All right. Thanks again, man. Laura, you have to hear me, please. My life and Ryan's life depend on it. To just see them. What did you just say to me? I don't know. I, I just opened my mouth and a bunch of words came out. It didn't make any sense. It did to Ryan, though. To Vajasiva. 
Julian used to say that to me. It means you are my heart. Laura, Laura, please say it again so he'll know I'm here. Right now, say it. I love him so much, I can hardly breathe. Please be my voice. To watch us even. This is not happening. Yes, it is. I came back, my love. I had to. This is where I belong. It's like. Like she's here with me. Julian's here with me right now. J.R. bought this. Did he, did he take any? No. But only because he didn't have time. That accidentally ended up in Jamie's backpack, where Petey and Jamie found it. They nearly helped themselves. Did you stop them? No, Opal did. She thought they were sneaking candy before bedtime, which is what they thought they were doing. See, normally they would dig into something like that by the handful. If she hadn't found them in time... <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. You think we know what people are capable of? It's a brave new world, Adam. To sell drugs as candy. Somebody out there's really clever when it comes to dragging down our children. Dad, thanks for coming. Did you hear what they're gonna do to me? Tell it's not gonna happen. Laura, this is some kind of joke. Leo, did you put her up to this? No. Well, then how did you learn those words in Hungarian? And who told you that Jillian used to say them to me? Ryan, I swear, I, I, it's not like I speak Hungarian or any other language. I mean, I, I lived in China for a while. I didn't even get that right. I, it's not my thing. Seems to be your thing now. Ryan, I, I don't understand what happened. I mean, it was like I was hypnotized. Maybe, maybe it's that organ recipient thing. What? What are you talking about? Well, I've been reading up on these studies where, where patients who have had transplants apparently somehow get the donor spirit in themselves. That's what this is about? Yeah. That's the game you're playing? You want me to believe that somehow Jillian is alive? I am. Because her heart is beating in somebody else? Ryan, I am so sorry. Lord, listen to me. I'm glad you're okay. I really am, but my wife is not living on in you. She's dead. Ryan, wait. Oh, let me go to him, please. Let's take it easy, please. He's in so much pain. I know. Laura, I know, but it's not your fault. Why do I feel so bad? these drugs? Yeah. Dad, it, it's not what it no, looks wait, like. Wait, wait. Let me have a moment alone to speak to my son, please. Yeah, okay. Come on, let's go outside. You gonna come down on me too? You know I love you. I know you're not a bad kid. You just think I'm some drug drug addict? No. No, I think you're experimenting. The way my generation experimented with alcohol. Right. So why is everyone being so hypocritical? Well, I'd be just as concerned if you were abusing alcohol. Dad, I took a couple of pills. No, no, this is more than a couple of pills. 
Were you going to sell them? No. Well, then they're all for you, aren't they? This is way beyond experimenting, J.R., and it's going to stop. I want you to do what your mother suggests. I want you to go see a therapist. Dad, please. I have a question. How many liquor bottles do you think you have laying around your house? First of all, I'm an adult. And you don't get drunk? Dad, I've seen you. And second of all, I know what's in those bottles. Do you know what's in here? Are you absolutely sure that it hasn't been laced with something lethal? No. Then why are you taking that risk? You've got to talk to somebody, a professional. Somebody who will listen to you without judging you. Someone who can give you some advice. You can get back on track again. Maybe contain some of the fallout. What fallout? J.R., you've had several scrapes with the police lately. I, ha I had a drug test, and I was clean. You don't remember that, yeah, Dad? No, no, I do remember, and, I, and I, I'm glad about that. If only that's all we had to worry about. What do you mean? Nothing, forget it. Dad. What's going on? David Hayward set a trap for you, son, and you fell right into it. What? He got you into his hotel room. He uh, forced a confrontation, and you admitted that you'd stolen the drugs, and you admitted having used them. How'd you know about that? Hayward got it all on videotape. And now he wants me to do him a favor. And if I don't, he's taking the tape to the police. Wait a minute. David Hayward is blackmailing you because of me? It's, it's great. The problem is that the tape exists even if we neutralize Hayward. If the police ever see that tape, you could end up with a criminal Dad, record. I don't care. This is all my fault. You shouldn't let Hayward get away with this. Don't you ever want to go to college? Do you ever want to have a decent job in your life? <sighs> let me handle this. And if you want to make amends, then promise me that you'll start getting your act together now. That way, creeps like Hayward can never touch us. What exactly did he want you to do? The less you know about that, the better. And that goes with the rest of the family, too. That, that's, that's Dixie, your mother, that's Tad, that's... And, and even more importantly, it's Liza. Don't tell anyone in the world that David Hayward has this holding over us. This is our secret, J.R. This is you and me. Right? It's important. Will you swear to me, swear to me, that you'll keep this quiet? Yeah. Good. I have your word. I didn't see his face when I started speaking that Hungarian. I mean, where did that come from? I don't know. You know, you, you spent a lot of time around Jillian. I'm sure you heard her talking to Ryan. You, maybe you remembered a couple of words, and, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's as, as, as simple as that. I don't know. I said those words, and it was like Ryan had seen a ghost. Ryan? I know you can't see me or hear me, but can you just... can you just try to feel my love? I know you're in pain, but if you could just open your heart, I could help you. Why are you so hard-headed? It's obvious he doesn't need your help. That is not true. I just want him to know that I'm here. I'm still here. I'm with him. You're with him, huh? All right, touch him. No, I can't do that. Stupid rules. I can only touch things that were never alive. Like that ball over there. 
What are you doing? I just thought of a way to touch his heart. What you wanted? Right? Don't be afraid. I just want you to remember. Can you? You know, it's a man. I cannot believe how you are messing with this boy. Would you stop it? You need to recognize. All right, you ain't helping him. I'm gonna do this, Jesse. I'm gonna do this. Just watch me. Thank you, Leo. Okay. I'm gonna go take my meds before Zora gets on my case. Okay. Got that right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you serious about this? You're not talking about the wedding reception. No. You're worried about what happened last night. Leo, Laura has no idea that you did not come home last night and then you passed out drunk in the park and Greedley Smythe just happened to find you. That was a coincidence, Brooke. I uh -huh. told you that. And her call here this morning, finding out if you were okay? I wore off. You heard me. Leo, it's obvious that Greenlee still has feelings for you. Do you have feelings for her? So Greenlee is in the past. If she wasn't, I wouldn't have married Laura. Brooke, look, I understand why you have so many reasons to doubt me. Given your record? But I swear to you, I am a different man than I used to be. And that's because of Laura. When I was with Greenie, I was, I was selfish. I admit that. But Laura's... She taught me a lot. And it's changed my life. And that's why you ended up drunk in the park last night. I make mistakes. I still make mistakes. That has nothing to do with marrying your daughter. That wasn't a mistake. I'm gonna go check on her. See how she's doing. Good, Tom. I'll be right there. Double latte for Leo Dupree's. Dupree. Dupree. I, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't order this. I know, but uh, the lady who did, allow me to say you were one lucky guy. Oh. There's a note. Leo, I know you couldn't talk on the phone. Brooke was there, no problem. But I want you to have this coffee and something else on the side. Meet me tonight at the SOS. Love, Greenlee. Was it a good set? Oh, it was beyond good. They're even better now than the last time I heard them. For the last time they were here, Greenley met Christian Burns, and ever since then, she's been a heavy-duty macker. <laughs> she even got their lunch bill. Although, I'd, I'd forgotten all about that until I just happened to run into her tonight here. running into Leo here. L Laura, why don't you just have a seat? You must be really tired. No, I I'm not tired yet. You know, Laura, Leo has done nothing but talk about you since we happened to run into each other here. And I must say, you look a lot better than he said. Really? Honey, I'm sorry it took so long. I should have uh, brought that handicapped parking sign for the car. Hi, everybody. Yeah, the next time I want to be the reason for one of those, I want to be 97 years old. <laughs> it's sort of warm in here. Are you okay? Mom, you swore. Okay, okay. But you could probably use something cold, right, Leo? That's all right. 
Sure, that'd be great. Right. Please sit down, okay? You said you wouldn't overdo it. Okay. 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 What are you doing here with Greenlee? I'm not here with Greenlee. Uh, I just happened to meet her here for the band. Leo, you're not going to hurt Laura. I swear, I'm not going to let you. Okay, you're right. I didn't just happen to meet Greenlee here. She sent me a note. She wanted to see me. And you rushed right over. Yes, but not to hear what she had to say. I had some very important things that I had to say to her. What? And Leo, please don't try and snow me. I told her that she has to accept the fact that we're through. And I told her that I'm, there, there, without a doubt in my mind, there's one person that I'm committed to and one person that I love. And I reminded her that I'm married to Laura. And that I intend to keep it that way. Did she believe you? Do you? I what, too? I told her that I love Laura. That's all she needs to know. I wish I knew that. I don't know if she can believe that it's true. Laura, please, sit down. Everyone wants you to. I don't want to be responsible for something happening to you here. I have enough trouble. You haven't answered my question, Greenlee. All right. Yes, you're right. So it isn't an accident you've been here with Leo? No. I asked him to meet me here. Why? you're asking me to tell you. Oh, I know very well. Why did you ask Leo to meet you here? It has nothing to do with you. Leo and I have a history. There are things that we need to tell each other. Leo is my husband. I know he's your husband. <laughs> For God's sake, everyone keeps reminding me of that. But that's just the point, Laura. Here your husband... Here you go, sweetheart. How's your drink? Thank you. You okay? It's awfully hot in here. Yeah, I'm okay. I just, I just didn't want to stay home tonight. Okay. Good. I'm, I'm glad you came. Uh, why don't we all sit down? Hmm? Come on. Laura, you asked me why I wanted to meet Leo here. I wasn't going to tell you, but I think it's time you knew. Do you ever get tired of causing trouble, Grammy? Don't listen to what she has to say. It's okay. I, I asked her to tell me. I, I want to know. Laura, this is your first night out. I don't want you getting upset, all right? So let's go. Yes, we're going. They seem to think you're so fragile, Laura, but you look so much better to me. Cleo. Why not tell her the truth? You should be grateful. Greenlee, please don't just Go on. stop. Greenlee, say what you want to say to me. I want to give you a party, Laura, to congratulate you on your marriage. Oh, what's the big deal? You're not sick anymore. You can come to a party, can't you? We appreciate your offer, Greenlee, but actually, I'm already throwing Laura and Leah a related wedding reception. Well, but the thing is, I need to do this for myself. I mean, this is a small town, really. Everyone knows how Leo and I broke up, but if I throw a party, it'll be clear to everybody that I'm happy for Leo, and I wish the two of you only the very best. You don't have to throw me a party, Greenlee. Why don't you just come to our wedding reception? That'll show people you wish us well. Thank you. I would love to come to your reception. I'll tell you when and where. I look forward to it. You see? Wasn't so bad. <sighs> you have a very devoted husband. It's worth so much. Well, it was wonderful seeing you looking so much better, Laura. Good night. Good night, Greenlee. Good night.